guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Friday, October 27th, 2023. Welcome to another eBay video. Today's main topic is going to be the troubles I've been experiencing when I send offers to watchers. In my opinion, that is probably the worst promotion on eBay that encounters the most problems. Later, we're going to segue to some screenshots and I will show you what I mean. I also want to talk about people who insist on returning items off the eBay platform. I refer to these as geriatric returns because it's always an old person that does it. And I'm going to discuss that inside because you can't tell right now, but it's starting to rain. Oh, rain? Really? Do you know today's forecast, I swear to Christ, was sunny? And I planned around that. But we got clouds and showers right now. So I'm going to go inside. And the first topic I would like to discuss with you guys is the geriatric returns. I think I'll do that on camera. And then after that, we're going to segue to the sending offers to watchers and problems that I've been experiencing. Oh, and by the way, a shout out to Rubber Wilbur, who last week correctly identified my little skit of drinking the eggnog and asking you guys what movie it was from. Well done, Rubber Wilbur. Well done. And for those who didn't catch it, I was imitating Chevy Chase in... National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. But let's go inside now. I would like to now talk about what I refer to as geriatric returns. I received an item the other day that was unexpected in the mail. It was a return from an item that a person purchased on eBay. There was a hastily scrawled note in there that said, I want a full refund in big block lettering. Now, I don't have the note with me now, but I think we all know where I'm going with this. Anytime I get a return off eBay, it's always somebody older over age 75. And I know I'm going to probably draw some criticism and some hate, but I don't care. If it's true, I can say it on camera, and I'm saying it. I'm getting quite fed up with this kind of thing. This one was really egregious, and I'm going to tell you why. I received a note that said, in fact, this does not fit my car. Here's what I did. I took the box and I went, poom, over my shoulder, and I continued about my business. A few days later, the person opens a return on eBay, falsely claiming item is defective. This guy actually hung himself because when you buy something on eBay Motors, you have the option to type in your vehicle. And he typed in his vehicle, it's not compatible, okay? It clearly says that in the drop-down menu that it's not compatible. So, problem number one, he obviously screwed up. Problem number two, how is he going to add a tracking number to this return when he sent the return off eBay. Hmm? So my question to you guys, what would you do if you were me? Would you let the return time out and do nothing and see if eBay closes it? The problem is, normally I would give him a partial refund because I would deduct for the shipping both ways because he abused the return system. All right, he's a liar. Um, by the way, he has zero feedback and he joined eBay specifically to buy my item. All right, he's a liar. He said it's defective and that's not the case. He didn't read the listing and the item is not made for his vehicle. That's why it doesn't fit. So please give me your opinion in the comments section below on that situation. Now I'd like to talk about another serious topic 
sending off his two watchers this week, even this year, but this week was especially bad. Guys, this section of the video is going to be about sending off his two watchers and why eBay really needs to retool this. The problem is, anytime I send out offers to watches, I get the worst of the worst. I sent out the other night 122 offers to watches, and out of those 122, only two people responded in a positive manner, saying they would accept my offer. Let's take a look at number one. This person hasn't purchased anything on eBay in five years. Over five, actually. It could be seven. I don't know if you can see the bottom of the screen, because my screencast the matic might be cutting it off, but it says, Item information is not available for the following items because the feedback is over five years old. I swear to Christ on the cross in Brooklyn. If eBay would give us a little information about the potential buyers that are watching our items, it would go a long way. I'm not saying we need the user's, the user's user ID. No, I would just like to see how much he's purchased in the last year. This screen right here, see this section? If I would have seen that I was sending my offer out to this sloth, this zero sloth, I would never have sent the offer out. Needless to say, I never received payment. The item was a one-of-a-kind item, which took the item off the shelf for four days. However, on the positive side, it's a real dog item, so it really didn't concern me. Plus, as you know, I do not wait four days to relist the item. When I get somebody like this, a person of zero intent, I immediately relist the item. Now, let me tell you about the second person, because this one's even more interesting. As I said, I sent out the offers the other night, and I swear to God, within three minutes of sending the offer, I get a ka -ching. That put me on high alert, because that never happens. I checked the buyer, and he was a zero feedbacker. So now I'm even more nervous than I was. But maybe around 10, 15 minutes later, the guy actually paid. The zero feedbacker actually paid me. I was ecstatic. I said, you know something? I may have to rethink sending out offers to watches because here is an example of where a person with zero feedback was watching my item, accepted my best offer, and paid right away. I'm really impressed. So I boxed up his order printed the shipping label, put it in my car, shipped it the next morning. After the label has been uploaded and the tracking scanned in, the buyer writes to me. He says, I'm needing to cancel this order. This is not what I'm needing. Please send reimbursement and do not ship this order, please. And I wrote back, it's too late to cancel. It's already been shipped. LOL. I am absolutely shocked about the number of people that are buying things and wanting to cancel 24 hours later. Now, if this guy wants to do a return, that's fine and acceptable with me. He's going to be spending a nice chunk of change sending back that 17 by 17 by 8 inch box. I tell you guys, I don't want to sound like a negative Nancy, but here are two examples of why sending offers to watches does not work the way it's supposed to. This is my personal feeling, and it's been my experience, as you know if you've been watching my videos in the past. I have no problem dickering on prices and helping buyers out when I can. I mean, it's just good business. But when people agree to make a purchase, they need to be held accountable for their purchase. They need to be made to pay, 
and they need to understand that they're ent entering into a binding contract. Now, if you would have contacted me five minutes later, obviously, you know, I wouldn't have printed the label yet. That would have been a different story. But I don't understand. I just don't get how people are so callous and frivolous when buying auto parts. I have decided to do the summation and closing comments on camera here at home because I ran out before without taking my prop with me. I'm going to be drinking some eggnog right here on camera. This is eggnog. It is to be enjoyed. I really love this stuff. I could drink it every day. Last week, when I asked about the Chevy Chase comment, I had no idea that I was going to actually do that. It just happened. It was unplanned. As I was drinking the eggnog, the scene from the movie came into my head, and that's why I played it out like I did. Shout out to Rubber Wilbur for being the first person to recognize it. So yeah, I myself don't like Christmas movies. I find them extremely depressing. However, that's one movie I really do enjoy. How could you not like Chevy Chase in that movie? The likable loser who goes out of his way to try and make everything work and everything just fails. So yeah, I want to touch on a few more things really quickly. Free shipping. How many of you guys are getting nags from eBay wanting you to be top rated seller plus and telling you to offer free shipping to your customers? I get that once or twice a week. I will never ever offer free shipping as long as I live. I'm saying it on camera. I've been saying it for years. Let me give you an important illustration. Now listen carefully to this. All right. I accept best offers in all my items, anything reasonable. Let's say I have an item that's $100 and $30 shipping. If a person wants to send me a best offer of less than $100, if it's reasonable, I'll take it. The problem I'm having, and I just had this two days ago, using that example, a person sent me a best offer of full price, $100. And I knew when I was going to click on review offer what I was going to see. Sure enough, I want free shipping or free shipping or shipping is included. <whistles> Here's your free shipping. Ain't happening. If you don't want to pay the $30 shipping in that case, all you have to do is deduct the 30 from the original 100 which would be 70 bucks. Send me an offer of 70 plus the shipping. I would have accepted it. I swear to Christ, I put my life on the line. I will never offer free shipping in any case. Now, I'll tell you why. Using that example I just told you, let's say I had accepted his $100 offer. All right? Let's say he gets the item and he made an honest mistake. He bought the wrong size. He returns it to me. Cute Joey would lose the $30 shipping, the original shipping. That's not going to happen. Cute Joey is not in the business of losing money. I've been working since I've been 16 years old. That's very important to me. I've never filed for unemployment because I'm not in the habit of losing money. And I am not in the habit of offering free shipping. So I totally rejected that guy's offer and I never heard from him again. It's important. When a person sends you a best offer, eBay is very clear to them. It says this does not include shipping and taxes. People need to read, digest, and act accordingly. Something else that's been happening are these constant nag messages. Let me see if you can see that right there. I'm getting three or four of them a week for Things I never use. That one's for a handbag. 
Other things I never would buy would be a Rolex watch or stuff for a cookout. Absolutely not. Never happened. I don't know what's going on, but this seems to have started only recently. So, I guess that's basically it. Let's go over a quick recap right now, and then I'll let you guys go. All right? I told you guys about the geriatric return, guys returning off eBay. But what really pisses me off is he's a liar. He claimed my item is defective and my item is fine. The old codger didn't read that it doesn't fit his car. He didn't do his due diligence. What would you do in that case, considering he has no tracking number to upload? And if you say we'll give him a refund, how? Considering I can't use that refund tool, I don't think, in this case. Second thing I told you about was the problems sending offers to watchers. All I'm getting are sloths. People who don't pay and people who don't read. These people who want to cancel sales 24 hours after the deal is done is just mind-boggling, and it's getting worse. Even Amazon doesn't allow that. I think with Amazon you have either half an hour or an hour, you know. So yeah, please comment on any of the eBay topics I've covered, or feel free to bring up some of your own. I'm Crazy New York Forever, you're not. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you make a lot of eBay sales this week. Rock on and peace.